Hello everybody. So first of all, um, you probably have heard about this. Episode. I'm sure you probably have. Uh, the EU Migration Pact was passed in Brussels, not by a huge margin, but basically uh, every country in the European Union either agrees or disagrees to, to opt in, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. The, Ireland has the option. They, they can not join if they wish to not join the, go, the government. But we all know the government over here, you know, they do whatever Brussels says. How high, they just ask Brussels how high. They don't question it. They just do whatever they tell them to do. Uh, they don't have any backbone. As, as Michal Martin said, we don't want a backwards looking at EO sovereignty. He believes the European Union should tell us what we should do and how high we should jump and what we... You know, basically without question. We shouldn't question them. Uh, slow on the line, etc, etc. They don't believe in sovereignty. Basically, this uh, EU migration pact it will take away our sovereignty. It's another kick to sovereignty. Um, if we didn't have any left, we we, we definitely not have any, any left if we joined this. Uh, because we won't have an immigration policy. Ireland itself won't have an immigration policy. We'd be told by Brussels how many migrants we need to take in every year. Say it's 30,000. I know 30,000 a year, every year. Either we take them in or we pay a huge amount of money. Probably billions, because we all know that they just abuse Ireland and the European Union. We've seen it with the EU, the, the COVID recovery package. Ireland's paying double the amount of money more than other countries in the European Union, even bigger economies and stuff. But again, Ireland to the European Union is just, uh, it's basically the distance... They're just using Irish people to make profit uh, and for their own agenda, as you know, the World Economic Forum's agenda too. Uh, Ireland's just, uh, you know, the, the greatest little country for that agenda. Um, but we see this, these politicians uh, selling the country away where they have sold it. The, the, if they could sell it anymore, to be totally honest, like they've done everything to sell this country out. Um, so unfortunately, they will opt in. We, uh, I wouldn't want them to opt in because we should have our own immigration policy, etc., etc. We shouldn't be dictated to by Brussels and what to do uh, in our own country, in Ireland. Like, it, it doesn't matter if, if Belgium or other countries want to do their own thing, let them do it. But in this country, we want to decide who we let in, you know, how quick we deport them, if we deport them on the spot. Like, again, all this, and then again, I say, say 30,000, maybe more, whatever the European Union tells us to take in, we would have to take in. If not, then we'd be fined to oblivion, probably. Uh, for not taking in refugees. And as you see at the moment, we can't even cope with the amount of people that's here at the moment. So you think about the amount of people we're bringing in uh, and trying to cope with that, etc., etc., is not going to end well. But um, it, it, it's, it, and we all know the, all the political parties, Sinn Féin, Labour, people for part of the Social Democrats, uh, all the opposition we have from maybe aim to and the view of rural independence. That's the only people that are basically calling this out for what it is. Carl Nolan, take for example. Uh, only for Carl Olin saying about things, it wasn't debates about it in the doll. Uh, same as Matty McGrath too, in fairness. But Sinn Féin are nowhere to be found. They're, they're nowhere to be found asking for debates or anything. Because again, they're only what the rush this through. The same as the rush through the COVID legislation, etc, etc. They want no debate. Because if you have debate, people will take notice. Only Joes will take notice and be like, actually, this is not beneficial to Ireland in any way, shape or form. We're sending away our country to the European Union right. yet again. The same as we did with fishing. The same as we did with the national resources. The same as we did with everything. We've been sold out by our politicians to the European Union. And it's plain, plain, plain seen to be seen here. That, uh, the do again, uh, Miha Martin said it perfectly. It's not for my mouth. It's Miha Martin's mouth. We don't want a backwards looking idea of sovereignty. We are fully committed to the ideals of the European Union. That just tells you all you need to know. They don't care about what Irish people take the sovereignty of our state, the history of our state. Do you only care about what you, the European Union tells us to do and how high we jump? That's the, that's what they really care about. And, and the World Economic Forum, of course, a few shadowy figures in the world, and a lot, along with a few other people um, from Hungary and stuff like that. Um, but uh, it's just another kick in the teeth, basically, to Irish people, to be totally honest. Because if, you know, and to be totally honest, this is the way it should walk into democracy. Uh, the people of Ireland vote to say we will opt in, we won't vote. That's the way it should be, really. Um, especially on this level. It's a huge thing that would change our, our uh, economy, our society, everything in, in Irish society would change for, uh, indefinitely for a long, long time to come. Uh, and the Irish people should have a vote. But we all know what the, that vote would be, you know, the same as the last one, because it would have to be a public vote, stuff like that. And they know what the Irish people wouldn't really be too keen on it. So they probably would have a huge negative mandate for 80, about 80% 80 of the Irish public probably would say no and tell them to go 
back off, you know, which rightly so they should probably. But, um, you know, they wouldn't go to it. They wouldn't go to only Joes like you and me. They wouldn't go to the peasants. Why should they go to the peasants and ask for their permission in their own country what they want, you know? Um, no, we shouldn't do that. But because we all know what the answer would be, you know, it'd be no, you know, uh, and rightly so. But you, you get what I'm saying, the politicians know that. They're not stupid. They might look stupid. They might act stupid, but they know what they're doing. Uh, they know how to sell the country out as quick as possible. And they know how to enrich themselves, of course. Um, but this is the thing. The, the, as I was saying, I don't want to put the political party, the opposition, the government parties are all going to fall with it. None of them are going to, it has to be brought through the Shannon and the Doll. Uh, and we all know the rural independents aim to maybe one had it have been. That would be it. All the other parties are all supporting this, all jumping up and down about it. Um, saying this is great and stuff like that. Uh, but in theory, not great. You know, in theory, it's not great. Um, because at the moment we shouldn't be bringing in any more people. We have enough people in the country. We're brought, we're brought in over 100,000. That's what they say. It could be 200,000 for, you know, the last two years. And, you know, you see yourself outside in the city set that there's makeshift, uh, basically what you would see in San Francisco. And that's going to get 50 times worse if we keep bringing in people. And not even that. We won't, uh, the amount of people that's coming in, we couldn't infect them. It's simple as that the government, uh, like it, data itself from Dublin Airport last year, have shown a lot of people got rid of their documents coming into the country and had no documents that all were let into the country. Now, very 85% to be precise. Uh, so it's not just 2%. It's in, that, in one airport in the country, it's 85%. And so the government are bullshit, and it's the same this year, probably. They probably won't release the data because, you know, the conspiracy theories are right. Let's put it that way. Um, and it's not far away to enter that, but we, we, we see what their dark agenda is. We have to be aware of what they're doing to this country. Um, simple as that. And we don't want a part of this. And the majority of people don't want a part in this. Um, because at the end of the day, the, what the European Union, in theory, when we joined up in the 90, 1974, it was a common travel market. You, know, you could travel within the European Union freely, etc., etc., et uh, and common currency and stuff like that. Uh, nowadays, it's just like the the big daddy state telling you, you know, telling countries what to do, etc., etc., infringing on their sovereignty. Because again, at the end of the day, it's up to their own countries. But again, if we said no in the morning, which we won't, because the politicians just opt us in anyway, they won't, they won't dare to disagree with the European Union. But, you know, we, we know ourselves, we'd be forced, and buses will force us in, they were threatened to, oh, we won't give you any of this, we won't do this, we won't, we, we'll fucking find you into oblivion until you join. Um, because again, it's all bully boy tactics, basically. If we did opt that, um, but again, hopefully they might see some politicians might see sets, but not likely. Because again, they're all afraid of losing their seats. They're afraid of losing the positions in political parties. No Sinn Fein TD is going to stand up against their political. No Fianna Fáil TD is going to stand up from the crowd and vote no. No Fianna again. None of them are willing to do it. That's the simple as that. None of them are willing. They're too scared and afraid. Uh, and not that they're too afraid of losing their money. And that's the only. That's. That's the beginning. They're not care. They're not scared of anything. They're just afraid of losing the money because the money is the biggest thing for them. Uh, and getting a few brown envelopes, etc., etc. But anyway, we see what happens. But as I say, it's a huge. It doesn't benefit Ireland in any way, shape, or form. To be totally honest, maybe maybe one benefit, maybe, but uh, maybe a few odd benefits, but not really anything. Uh, it'd be more benefits we'd be given out and stuff more than anything else. But uh, yes. So thank you for watching. Uh, we see what happens. Uh, but it does look like the will pass it, uh, unfortunately. So um, we see what happens. Maybe common sense would prefer, but not likely. Thank you.